All right, I'm already salty. First stream of the new game, the new season. And, uh, of course, Streamlabs has to uh, put out an update, which breaks my connection to Twitch. <laughs> so, for the past half hour, I've been trying to get Twitch to connect to my Streamlabs. And uh, it's been a, a tedious process. And uh, all I had to do was go in and tell it to uh, make my connection through my Ethernet to my IP address, and we're good to go. Every time I would launch, it would say, failed to connect to stream application. <sighs> Streamlabs, you're terrible. I would not recommend Streamlabs to anybody. <clears throat> anybody. Not even, uh, not even that uh, skank from Chicago. <clears throat> Rocky Top, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Opening day for the Cardinals here on the channel. Opening day for uh, for real at home tomorrow. So I took the day off, so I'm not refing because I'm usually refing on opening day, and and uh, I missed the game because they start at three o'clock. So <clears throat> anyway, welcome in. We got the Cardinals. You can see Sunny Gray right here. Uh, we have some housekeeping things to go over before we ever get into gameplay. Um, they changed the moments thing where you can where you can uh, jump into games more frequently or less frequently earlier in the game, later in the game. They changed all that, which which I, which is nice. You can customize that, so you're not stuck with whatever the default is for the game. Um, I'm still going to play three games on stream and we'll sim the rest of the games, but um, that might change as we go through the season. I might get into more games late in the game and play the end of multiple games and not stream as many full games. We'll see. just depends. Um, but anyway, welcome in. Um, originally, I was going to do the Royals and then I was going to do the White Sox. And uh, Rocky Top and Franchise Gaming both suggested that I do my own hometown team. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this should be an easy franchise because the only thing we really need <laughs> is pitching. And the easiest thing to get in the draft in MLB now, since they changed everything, is pitching. So um, I will tell you, we don't have a second round pick because of signing Sonny Gray as a free agent. So we're only going to get five picks in the draft, and there's going to be a huge gap from our first pick to our second pick. So um, we're going to have to really um, scout and try and discover um, pitchers that aren't in the MLB Top 100 to try and fill those, those later picks. Um, and I won't be opposed to adding um, position players for those later picks if we can't find pitchers we like. Um we have an old guy at first and an old guy at third, and we don't have the replacements in the minor leagues right now. So uh, if we could find someone to develop um, at first or third, I'd be perfectly fine with getting someone late in the draft. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think we picked seventh in the first round. We actually had the like the fourth or fifth worst record last year, but because of the new lottery they do, we got knocked down when Cleveland and Cincinnati jumped all the way up to one and two. So uh, my voice is, is deeper today. It's because uh, my allergies are kicking in and I've got all this sinus shit going on. Where's Q? She loves when my voice is really stupid deep. <clears throat> anyway, so um, I am using the last update that San Diego put out that has Yamamoto on the Dodgers. Um, but it's been modified. I went through, let me show you this, make sure this is up. Um, I went through the top 100 players in all of baseball. And every single one of these players, including guys that already have Major League Service, like Evan Carter, um, Pete Crow, Armstrong, Marte's not in the, salary, the uh, player file at all. Um, but any of these guys, I went through this entire list of 100 players, and I 
didn't change their potential, but I did change their ratings. So they're a little bit closer to playing at the major league level and they'll have some success in the minors and go up and play in the majors. Um, guys like this, Camonero, I don't know if you can see this at all or not. I might have to move this over, see if that works. No, it didn't work on there. Let me try this. Let me hide my camera. And then we'll slide this over for a minute. <clears throat> All right, so Camonero last year. Um, hit 324 with 31 home runs and 94 RBI. But if you look at his ratings that come in the game, there's no way he would duplicate that in the minors at all. There's no way he would do that in the minors. And so, and then he even came up and played at the end of the year in the major leagues. So, um, that would not happen um, if we left them. Let me turn my my uh, webcam back on so I can see where I need to move this to. That would not happen in this game if we uh, left their ratings the way they were. So all these guys in the top 100, we boosted their numbers so that they could get to the majors quicker and replace these guys that are older and regressing and retiring. Um, otherwise, as you go on four, five, six years into a, a franchise, the overall talent is not as high as it is now. So the teams are not as good. The players aren't as good. Um, it's it's a indictment on the progression and the extreme regression in this game. Anytime a guy hits 10 years of Major League Service, they fall off a cliff. They'll go from 90-something overall to 70 in like two years. It's ridiculous. You'll see pitchers like Scherzer and DeGrom lose 14 points in a category in one year. So, well, you know, they may fall off a cliff in real life. We still have a lot more players that are productive and do really well, and they're already rated in the game in the 80s, in their 30s, mid-30s, and they don't stay that way once you start playing the game. So, anyway, so I put that out in the vault. Just search my PSN Von Rye. You can see that up there at the top of the screen. Just search that, and there's only one file on the uh, rosters, and you can play with that if you like. Um, all of the injured players are on their major league roster. None of them are in the minors, so you don't have to deal with them not playing for the whole first year because they're stuck in the minors, and the CPU won't call them up. So um, if you want to injure all those players, then take that file, save it, and go in and edit all that yourself. But this way... Um, as you can see here, let me go to the Dodgers. You'll see the Dodgers have Kershaw, Bueller, May. All those guys are uh, on the roster, and uh, they're going to play the regular season. Should be Texas as well. You'll see Scherzer and DeGrom. Yeah. So, anyway, um, that takes care of that. So, that's the file we're using. And we are not doing a realistic rebuild. Um, we're just doing it whatever I feel like doing from year to year. Um, our pitching staff is old. Look at this. Not one of our starting five. It says Matt's is 32. He's really 33. So we don't have anybody under the age of 33 in our rotation. Libertor, is, uh, his hit's are not good enough to be a starting pitcher right now. We'll use him as a long reliever, which is what they're doing in real life. And there's nothing down here that is outstanding. Hence and Roby, Graceffo's beyond his uh, sell-by date, so he's not going to be anything. These two guys are what we... And we got Roby from Texas, the Montgomery trade. So these, these guys are hopefully going to come up at some point, but we'll see. Um... JoJo pitches very well in this game. 99 velocity. He's got 74 clutch. You'll see him leave the Cardinals and go places and be the closer. Um, 
Helsley's our closer. 99 clutch, 99 velocity, 97 break, 99 hits per nine. Guys, don't sweat it on your walks per nine on your relievers. If they have 99 hits and 99 pitching clutch and high strikeouts, they're going to do well, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> um, Contreras is signed for a while, so we don't have to worry about a catcher. Um, Herrera is our prospect, but he's, he's uh, nothing to write home about. Goldschmidt, I'm going to tell you right now, I boosted his throwing because it has it at 36, and that's how they manipulate these veterans to get them to regress, especially at first base. They will crush their throw rating, and these guys don't forget how to throw, and they don't lose strength in throwing. They should, they should crush their durability. They should knock down their contact, their power, their vision, their discipline, and that kind of stuff, knock down their speed, but they don't forget how to throw and catch the ball. It's the stupidest thing I've seen. Um, and same thing at third base. Um, Arnato, I dude has a fucking cannon for an arm. So if you want to knock down his other stuff, I get it. But don't knock down his arm. He's not losing arm strength. Um, anyway, we do have some young guys. Nolan Gorman. Um, at some point when Arnato leaves, we'll probably shift Gorman over to third, which is what he was when he was uh, before he was drafted. Um Mason Wynn was below Brandon Crawford, so I bumped him ahead of Crawford because Crawford's not starting. There's no reason for him to be higher than Mason Wynn, and they severely underrate his arm. The dude throws 100 miles an hour from shortstop, so he should have an arm in the 90s. It's fucking ridiculous. He hasn't proved that he can hit a ton in the major leagues yet, but he's defensively he's a stud. Even at 66 fielding and reaction is too low. Uh, Walker, at some point, he'll probably shift the first base when Goldschmidt goes. Um, Edmonds, our Swiss utility knife, along with Brendan Donovan. He can play second, short, third, all outfield spots. Carlson's probably going to get traded away. Uh, Victor Scott, I need to change his number. He is number 11. He's going to be our center fielder of the future, and this dude can fly. Um, think Vince Coleman if you guys know anything about baseball. Vince Coleman with better hitting and much better defense. This guy's a gold glover in center field. Um, and Lars, Lars is Lars. Burleson is overrated. So we don't have a ton of prospects in the minors because most of their good players, Wynn, Walker, Gorman, are all up in the major leagues. So we have some work to do on the uh, depth of our prospects, but especially pitching-wise, we have nothing down here. Not only do we not have numbers, we don't have quality. So if you ever want to see how many you have at each position across the entire um, organization, come to this page. So you're going to go to Trades. Update trade block, hit square to get to this page, hit square again, and you'll go to this positional information. So up the top, you can see we've only got 18 pitchers in our organization, and it takes 15 just to fill out the rotations at MLB, AA, and AAA. So we only have three extra pitchers in the organization that aren't already going to be used. So we're going to have to rectify that, and you can see we have 23 relief pitchers. So... We're going to, once we draft more pitchers, we'll just start cutting the crappy relief pitchers. Because one thing I found in this game, if you draft pitchers and they don't have high durability, but they have other good stuff, just shift them to the bullpen and they'll do just fine. All right? They have more durability so they can pitch more. Just move them there. Um, otherwise, we're pretty split. We got one more center fielder than we need, one less right fielder, which... It's not a big deal. Those guys can play all over the place. Um, so, and it shows at the bottom that we only have 37 guys on um, our 40-man roster because I cut two guys off the 40-man. Um, I've already done a little bit of work before we start here. Um, I'll show you what I did here in transactions. Um, did a bunch of sending guys up and down. I re-signed Helsley to a three-year contract, so 
we bought out his arbitration. Um, same thing with Donovan. We signed him to a three-year deal to go through his arbitration years. Libertor, we signed him through his arbitration a couple of years. Dylan Carlson, we extended him so we can trade him. And then we signed Mason Wynn, Jojo Romero, Nolan Gorman, Jordan Walker, all to four- and five-year contracts, buying out all of their arbitration years. So we don't have to deal with signing these guys and getting raped on the uh, arbitration when they start playing really good. So these guys are all signed. We don't have to deal with them until later. And by the time these guys become free agents, um, Arenado and Goldschmidt's big contract, Sonny Gray's big contract, all these guys that are making a crap ton of money are going to be gone. So then we'll be able to re-sign our own guys to big contracts, and it's not going to break our, our budget. So <clears throat> anyway, so I did all that before the season starts. I went here in the contract extensions. You can see Goldschmidt's on here. We're going to let Gibson and Lynn go, Carpenter go, Crawford go. Some of the rest of these guys we'll probably bring back. But um, if we can't sign Goldschmidt, then we'll try and figure it out. I think Alonzo is a free agent in the next year, so we could always replace him with Alonzo if that doesn't work. So I want to see how much he regresses. Anyway, that's where we stand. And, oh, Rocky, pay attention. Look at this. Look at this. I, uh, I went in and made some modifications to the uh, Treehouse Park in Oakland. Um. I added some seats up above the that upper deck right below the scoreboard. So if they hit one over the top of those boxes in the uh, right hand right right field, they'll go into bleacher seats. Let me show you. Because I did put Oakland in that ballpark. So I know a window's small, but where those retired numbers are to the right of there, above hit it here in that little strikeout ribbon, there are new seats up there, bleacher seats. And I added a new um, marble facade to that upper part. Um, I also fixed the left field fence a little bit. I have it angled from the foul pole out towards the where the seats are and then run across, and I removed some of the chain link. Um, so anyway, uh, I, th I think we play Oakland in the first month if they follow the real MLB schedule. I can't look because it doesn't go beyond here, but I think we play Oakland. So if we play Oakland um, in April, we'll play at that park. Or whenever, if we play Oakland at all this year at their place, we'll 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 go ahead and play one of those games. So anyway, so um, you know me, I don't like to play a lot of spring training. I find it boring. So we're gonna sim through this, get to the end of the spring. We'll send everybody up and down, and then uh, we'll get started. We'll play three games today, and uh, sim the rest. So we'll get through all of March and April today, and. Uh, and we'll, we'll move on from there. And, uh, oh, scouts, because we're going to do the uh, scouting, right? So here we go. Terry Thompson, 98 efficiency, 91 pitchers. Alberto Garral, 95 efficiency, 95 position players. And Zager has 97 discovery. You guys have heard me say this before. There's a guy over on YouTube called Fiend Franchise that has absolutely great content doesn't have a lot of follows um, I highly recommend going and watching him he has a great tutorial on how to scout both last year and this year and uh, he has his own um, draft only franchise with the Rockies going on right now <coughs> and uh, he had a live stream for spring training the other day so I was in this chat and had a lot of fun talking about the game so this is what he suggests. Get high efficiency, high pitcher for one, high efficiency, high position players for the other. And the third one is high discovery. And uh, you should find a bunch of good players that you can pick later in a draft. So I can vouch that this actually works really well. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so let's get in here, sim out spring training and get going on opening day. See if anybody gets hurt. Yeah, I got three wins in a row. I'm not going to look at the stats till we're done. I really despise spring training. In real life, it's good. In this game, it's it's uh, it's kind of a waste. All right. 
Let's go look at our stats. Hey, we got the best record in all of baseball in spring training. <laughs> wow. I mean, this team is good. They just have really old pitching, so we're going to have to build that up. <clears throat> Tommy Edmonds hitting 344, Goldschmidt 363, Gorman 368, Jordan Walker, Newt Barr, Arenado, Donovan, Mason Wynn's not doing bad. Carlson's doing great. Jeez. Yeah. They have a great lineup. They just have shit pitch. Gibson's doing good. Sonny Gray's doing great. Michaelis. Wow. These guys are p playing way better than they should. Kittredge. Look at Kenyon Middleton. He's hurt right now. King just got lit up. Gallegos is good in real life. Jojo. I talk him up and he's got a 15 ERA. <laughs> Helsley's pitching great, so... Um, I highly doubt that we're going to trade for guys to go into this rotation for next year. I expect that if I trade for pitching, it'll be in the off season. We'll sign one or two guys and not necessarily like the best starting pitcher. Um, see what we get in the draft and go from there. And then might trade Dylan Carlson off to try and get pitching. There are some teams that have a lot of pitching that we can go get somebody from, like the Dodgers, like the Mariners. So we'll see if we can work with those guys, Marlins, get some of their depth. Um, but that's what we're going to look at. So um, let's see, got that. And now JoJo lost another one. Now let's go in. Guys, do not just sim to the regular season because the CPU will set your roster for you. And it's not going to set it the way you want it. It is not going to set it the way you want it. So, all right. So, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Libra Tour is going to be a long reliever. Double A, triple A. Double A, triple A. He's going down. Let me think. All right. So, one, two, three, four. They need another triple A pitcher. Let's move him to AAA. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. So Robbers can go to. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Palante is going to go to AAA. I don't care if he has to go through waivers. Got to keep him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't need seven. All right. So that means Libertor. How many? He's got one option. Yeah. We're actually going to send him to AAA. Send him back to AA. And you're going to go to Class A. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's roll five. So, if he sucks, we'll send him back to his old team. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, got that there. Pedro is going to triple A. Jared's 28 years old. Um, you're going to double A. You're going to triple A. Donovan's good. Carpenter's good. For means going to triple A. Get there. You need to go to triple A. Carlson Siani's going to triple A. And 
Gomez is going to triple A. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going down. We got to cut one. You know what? I don't like this guy anyway, so. Yeah, I don't have to keep him. I can send him down if I want. I can ship him back to the guy. No, I don't. See, that's what's wrong with this game. I don't have to keep this guy. I can send him back to the team that we got him from. But it won't let me send him back to the team. So now you tell me I have to send somebody else down. All right, we'll send John King down. Looking ridiculous. All right, let's save this. Oh, and I did want to change one thing on my sliders. Everything is good. Foul balls I turned down because that's ridiculous. Pickoffs. Uh, field of reaction is up for everybody. Maybe bring that down. Um, wind. I'm going to knock that down because it gets to be a little too much. And we turned down the trade frequency so we don't have all these teams shipping off their top prospects. <coughs> and simulation injury frequency. All right, we're about ready, guys. All right, let's make sure they didn't mess up my team here. All right, check lineups. Edmund, Donovan, Goldschmidt, Gorman, not a walker newt bar it's just what i'm talking about <clears throat> where's walker he's in left yeah we'll do that oh no contreras Lefties. All right, and the rotation Gray, Gibson, Matz, Michaelis, Lynn, Thompson's long relief, Jojo, Kittredge. So, all right. Good there, budget. We've we've spent one hundred and ninety six million dollars. We have fourteen million left in budget, and that's because I extended. Well, it'll it'll go up next year. We're already at one hundred and fifty for next year, but uh, we may not bring back Goldschmidt. We'll see. Um, we're not bringing these two guys back. We'll try and get cheaper there. Um. We won't have Crawford on there. And then you can see the guys I extended. He jumps to three. He jumps to two. He jumps to three. He jumps to three. He jumps to three. But they're three all the way across, so we don't have to deal with them getting larger contracts as we move on. So, anyway, new guys in here. Welcome in, man. And uh, we're ready to go. Oh, 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 oh. Well, first of all, I got to turn on. Actually, I do have. I do have that. We have some new sound commands, guys. Did it not play? Hold on. Commands. Ah, I see what the problem is. Give me a second. 
got the exclamation. It won't work without the exclamation. Try that again. And that's a winner! That's a winner! There we go. Jack Buck. More Jack Buck. Go crazy, folks! Go crazy! <laughs> and uh, Mike Shannon. Get up, baby! Get up! Get up! That's one is, uh, that's his, uh, that's his home run calls. So you guys can use those. And we and we got Tony Soprano back because he wasn't working during NCAA, so This is fucking bullshit. That's what I was that's what I was saying when I was trying to go live because Streamlabs was shit in the bed, so <laughs> Alright, we're an hour behind when I wanted to start, so let's get in here and get going. Um, and it starts right here in the middle of March because the game is coded for those two games over in Korea, and it will happen every single year. You would think they could take those games out after the first season, but no. Lazy-ass programmers leave that stuff in, so now the season's going to start in mid-March for two teams, and everybody else is going to go to the end of the March. So another example of uh, programmers who don't play their own games. So... All right, Sonny Gray and Tyler Glass now, and uh, we're going to go play this game. And we can't start scouting until the 6th. Last year, it was on this date. But this year, you got to wait until the first Saturday in April. So, um, Hey, we're at the A's. So we will play one of these games, probably this game on the, on the Wednesday, the afternoon game. Um, so we'll get to play in our old Oakland A's ballpark I made last year. All those stadiums carried over. So we'll play the Dodgers. We'll play the A's. And uh, just for FG, we'll go play the Mets. We'll, we'll play the Mets. We'll play the Pond Scum, as we used to call them. All right, let's get in here. I may have to switch controllers in the middle because I forgot to charge this one. <clears throat> This is a new custom game entry thing here where you can go in and change this earliest inning that you want to come in. Uh, highlight player moments, you know, like if they're going to hit streaks on a line, no hitter, they're going to get their whatever, 400th home run, um, all that stuff. So they added that, so that's nice. In addition, they still have the player lock, but all right. Dodger City Connect. Wow. I'm going to leave them on their regular home. And uh, we don't have these baby blues on the road yet because uh, the uh, uniform fiasco for this season is carried over and they don't have those available for us yet. So. Wow. Yeah, we'll have a good choice of uniforms to wear. So we're going to wear our grays to start. And uh, rain. How about we don't have rain, we just say overcast. And here we go, guys. Here we go. <coughs> welcome in, welcome in. I've been wanting to start this since the game launched. <sighs> but I needed... Uh, better rosters and I needed to update all those prospects so <clears throat> fiend day welcome in man thanks for the follow welcome welcome I don't know if you saw my uh, discussion before we went to uh, opening day but uh, I uh 
put a, a uh, franchise file out in the vault that has uh, all the top 100 prospects with uh, higher ratings so they get to the majors quicker. Nothing ridiculous, but they should be more usable quicker. So. Thanks for the shout out, Rocky. Yeah, he's over on YouTube. I'll get you here. Hold on one sec. Give me one sec. I'm going to throw his YouTube out here because you definitely need to watch his content, man. He does NBA, um, Madden, MLB. And like I said, he's working on a uh, he's working on a Rockies draft only franchise right now. Ah, fuck this Streamlabs doesn't want to log me in. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. I've been waiting for uh, Fiend to come in here so I can shout him out because this guy has great content. There you go. Go follow him. That's that's an order. That's not a request. Go follow this guy. He deserves it, man. Very good content. <clears throat> hey, Fiend, I was half an hour late going live because Streamlabs OBS decided to give an update and it broke my connection and I couldn't, I would hit start stream and it wouldn't connect, it wouldn't connect and I had to go through all my settings. So they're the worst. But uh, anyway, welcome in. Haven't missed a ton. I just went over the roster and and uh, this is a little bit hot on the game's audio. Give me a second here. And turn that down just a touch. Still loud. Hold on. Man. In the season. In the season. Your attention, Your attention please. please. Yeah, OBS is terrible. Every time they do an update, it breaks my stream. And then if I don't stream for a few days in a row, then uh, as soon as I want to go live, it's, it automatically gets delayed. Tommy Two Bags, that's his nickname. Ah, just missed it. Just missed it. Any of you guys doing your own franchise and playing the games, if you have to play at Minnesota during a day game, just put it on overcast because the glare, the glare on the, uh, the hitter's eye, the backdrop, makes it damn near impossible to uh, see until the sun goes down. So just put it on overcast and you won't have that problem. <clears throat> Anyway, so this will be a little different than uh, my Rockies franchise that we did last year because we don't have <clears throat> we don't have Coors Field and I'm not trading for uh, Corey Seager. And the uh, base roster on this team is way better than Oakland, so we won't have to go out and sign guys like Soto right off the rip. And that's going to get caught. And uh, we have a much higher um, budget for St. Louis than we did with Oakland. It's it's actually less than what it is for Colorado. Colorado, for some reason, has more money. That's a ball. That's a ball. <clears throat> but anyway, um, if you guys... This is what we're on. Hall of Fame hitting, legend pitching. Just... Anybody asking? There you go. First hit of the year. And right down the middle, I popped it up. This dude, regularly in the sim, will hit 50 bombs. He progresses really well. 
Yeah, that budget in Colorado is nice because you can sign some players. I tell you what, Fiend, I signed Aaron Nola. So I traded for three pitchers, but then I signed Aaron Nola last year. And we turned their staff around in one season, and uh, I threw a perfect game with Nola against the Cardinals to finish off the NLDS. On stream. Yeah, on stream, so it's on my YouTube. But uh, they have plenty of money to sign their own guys and go out and get supplemental guys. So you shouldn't have any problems when Marilla wants a contract. Because <laughs> you've got all their high-priced guys off the roster already, so you could probably give them 30 mil and wouldn't even dent your budget. Come on, Lars, get there. <clears throat> Lars played for uh, Japan in the uh, baseball classic because his mother's from Japan. His dad's Dutch and his mom's Japanese, so. There we go. Fresh just a little bit, guys. I'm not sure if it's a little bit behind or not. Why is this double? Hold on a second. Let me turn monitor off. Let's see if that gets rid of that echo. There we go. Yeah, Hoodie, that was, that was, I took care of it. My speakers on Streamlabs was set to monitor and output. So I could hear it too. And I'm like, why is this getting an echo? Yeah. It was a Streamlabs setting. Like I said, they they, they put out a uh, an update. And I'm going to just find crap that's broken all day long as we go. So basically, the game was coming through my speakers and through the capture card, and it was giving you uh, an you echo. Go. There we go. Shohei. One ball, two strikes. Ah, missed my spot. <laughs> oh. Well, if I walk him, it's not the end of the world. I didn't want that pitch. go it's still doubled why is it doubling hold on that's monitor off hold on All right, let's see if that helps. Bye. There we go. Anybody new in here that hasn't seen me play in the past, we play three games, three full games. 
three full games on stream. We sim the other games in between. We do one month per stream. So it takes us six streams to get through the season. Yeah. And then once we get to the playoffs, it's um, each round is its own stream. So if we go seven games, we play all seven games in one stream. So yeah, sometimes we have a five and a half hour stream. And then the entire off season is its own stream. So once we get to July and we have the draft, the All Star Game, Home Run Derby, and trade deadline, we usually only play two games. Get down, get down, get down. Nope. We usually only play two games because if we have somebody in the Home Run Derby, we'll do it. If not, we sim it. I don't play the All Star Game; we just sim it. Um, but the draft takes up a lot of time, and then the trade deadline. Uh, if we do a lot of moves, we'll take time. Quit swinging at the first pitch. Um, and we'll sim the very next day after the deadline so we can see what our draft picks look like. I'm hoping we can discover a lot of pitchers because, like I said earlier, we only have five picks and we don't have a second round pick. So there's a large gap between our first and second picks in the draft. So, we do pick, I believe, seven. Should have been four or five, but... Because the... Uh, what's up, KD? Because the... Uh, the Indians and the Reds both moved up. <sighs> that pushed us down two spots. That's right. Ah, I don't think I got enough of that. All right. Just a little off, man. Katie, how you doing, man? How's your NCAA? I'm still in the middle of my 55-game uh, win streak with the Raging Cajuns, so we'll get back to that as well. My uh, schedule just started getting really busy with uh, high school and college volleyball. I'm off to... I'm off until Saturday and then I have to ref nine days in a row and four of those are club tournaments and I'll be refing all damn day so all day Saturday and Sunday this week and all day Saturday and Sunday next week I'll be refing girls club and then in between every day next week is boys high school Forty something in a row. Good, 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 man. Get that hundred, man. I uh, I'm not leaving. I'm not making the same mistake I made last time. Um, we're staying at Louisiana until I lose a game, or we get a hundred in a row. So after we get to a hundred in a row, the next year we'll leave. And if we lose a game before then, we'll leave. Jeez, oh, we'll leave um, that next season. That next off season, because uh, we've already won back to back natties. Trying to get four, go get it, man. Param Crow just had uh, he won ten in a row with Arkansas in the sim. Ooh. Need a strikeout or a pop-up. Yeah, I easily could have got ten if I'd have stayed at Iowa. On that uh, other coach I was using, we had six in a row, and that sixth one was ridiculous. We were averaging like sixty-seven points a game because we were so much better than everybody else. Come on. Foul balls. We're already up to 38 pitches in the second inning. There we go. Very helpful. <clears throat> 
Wow, we're going to get out of this jam. First and third and nobody out, we get two pop-ups. That's why you throw high heat, man. I'm not used to pitching with Sonny Gray, so my timing is really off. Mookie's on deck. Why is Mookie Betts so far down in the lineup? Oh, I'm sorry. He's hit, he's hitting lead off. All right, I wasn't paying attention to where we were in the order. Cards. Um, Gibson pitched better than I expected. Michaelis is not going to get any better. Lynn, those guys are just going to give us innings. It's all going to come down to, come on, Contreras. It's all going to come down to uh, our bullpen, and I don't think our bullpen's good enough. Um, the hitting will be there, so we're just going to have to uh, outscore some people. Mason Wynn is just, he's a gold glover waiting at short. So is Victor Scott. I hope when Carlson comes back they leave Scott up. Oh, come on. Yeah, I took tomorrow off so I can watch opening day. There we go. Base is loaded and we get out of it. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Bullpen could be better. We'll make the playoffs because our division is so trash especially since Milwaukee trade away Corbin Burns and Woodruff is out for the year. You're going to see him in Arizona? Nice. Nice. I'm waiting for our City Connect uniforms to see what they look like. As I've said before, if it doesn't say the Lou, I think they're going to use this. You see this Angry Bird logo? I think they're going to use that. I think they're going to use this Angry Bird logo on somewhere with the City Connect, but it should say the Lou, and they better fucking have Nelly at that game. Nelly's going to be in concert here, not too distant future. But, um, yeah, if it doesn't say the Lou, they're really screwed. No, they got hashtags out that say for the Lou, so I assume that's what it's going to say on the front, but it better say it on the jersey. Get down. There we go. Once we get to a game at home, um, I will show you uh, out beyond left center field. There's a bullpen in left center field and at Bush, and beyond those seats, behind the, across the street from the ballpark, there's a. Actually, it's two streets over. There's a big, tall building that you can see in the game, and that's the uh, building my wife works in. She can see the stadium from her office. That's wind stealing. He's only at 54. So he'll get steals in the sim and not in our games. Ah. <sighs> I should have played a game of Diamond Dynasty before I went live to get my hitting down. Anyway, welcome in everybody. Opening day. I've been wanting to start this for so many days. In a row. It's, I wanted to start it over the weekend, but it was a holiday weekend. There we go. Get down. He announced the City Connect on Friday. Good. It shouldn't take forever. Get it out of the way so people and, and make it available so people can go buy that shit, even though it's overpriced. <laughs> All right, Paul. There we go. This salary file does have Montgomery on Arizona, too, by the way. And JD Martinez on the Mets. <sighs> Come on, boys. Ah, try to pull my hands in and yank it down the line. All right, now we got to watch this low shit. And that's a double play. Gets him out of the inning. Because I should have not have should not have swung at that pitch. I am uh, 
I'm too busy talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Wait. Both teams dodging bullets early. I gotta get his timing down. There we go, that's better. Yeah, swing at that trash. I think I got my timing on him now. There we go. Tommy. It's pretty bad when you have a middle infielder playing center field because no one else is as good as he is defensively. Get up, get up, get up, get up. They do not get off the ground quick enough in this game. They take forever to get up and do anything. Chase. Got him. <laughs> Phillies reveals Friday. Yeah, okay. Why is Wu not on there? this again. So I have two uh, flash drives plugged in, and it's looking at the wrong one. There we go. Hey, we got five hits already. So we're just not hitting the ball hard in the air. <clears throat> All right, no one. Quit swinging at the first pitch. Should have crushed that, but I gotta take pitches. Quit swinging at everything.
Man. It says good contact, and it sounded and felt like a weak broken bat hit to second base. They've nerfed the hitting in this game. Something terrible. <laughs> Even their hits sound weak. <clears throat> Nothing's hit hard anywhere. I can't tell you how many perfect, perfect balls I've had get caught on the warning track. <coughs> All right, dodging bullets on both sides. Even when I play on Diamond Dynasty and I'm grinding for programs and I'm playing like the Rockies on on uh, Rookie or the A's on Rookie I'm struggling to get 10 runs and I've I, I've scored 10 runs in an inning before against those guys on Rookie oh the, there we go Lars not on there too so, hold on i'm fixing this right now because it's gonna drive me insane what am i fixing don't need that definitely need that This is what happens when shit gets updated and you don't play for a while. Edit. Lightsaber. I'm sorry, guys. We'll be done soon. There it is. Where's my boom at? Which one is this? Oh, 17.9. Yep, that's the right one. All right. 95% of them should work. So, there we go. <clears throat> Including this one. Adios, ah, chasing that change up, lay off that stuff. Let's go. 
I gotta check the schedule too, because I definitely want to play a home game on the stream today. So um, we may not play the Mets at the end. We might play a, a home game just before or just after the A's game, because I, I definitely want to play in that park that I made for the A's last year. If you guys want to use that park in your franchise, um, if you go in the vault, the stadium creator, search my PSN, Von Rye, and look for one that says Treehouse Park in Oakland 2.0, because I added some, some changes, and uh, if you go up the other one, it won't have them. There are minor, some cosmetic. <clears throat> there we go. Mason's got two hits today. Um, I did uh, push the left field wall back a little bit in straightaway left. Put a little angled section right by the foul pole. Everything else should be good. They've got a new... Uh, some some standing fans that are animated so I put them behind the wall behind the fenced area I put them in line at the concessions out that you can see there we go go in the corner come on Mason run Tommy two bags with a double and that scores a run all right <clears throat> All right, Brendan. This guy wins batting titles in the sim, too. And we're not going to send him. <clears throat> All right. Only one out. Stay out of the double play. Come on, Goldie. Cardinals have not extended this guy in real life, either. I'm going to hop that thing into a double play. All right, we got two runs. We got two. Good start. Ooh, it broke just a little too much at the end there. Looked like it was going to be a strike. Yeah, I'm just off on him. He just missed that. <laughs> we were fortunate that should have been a home run. <clears throat> nope. Oh, didn't get it. And he's out by a mile. There we go. I was trying to get that trophy. Only got a couple more to get. One of them is a diving catch, which is why I dove with Meat Bar. Don't do that back running in. That's like that same thing they do to Soto. It's his low reaction rating kills him. That's why I want to move him to first base. All right, Nolan. Let's see if we can park one with you. Nah, don't swing at that. Way early. Way early. Come on, boys. I gotta wait. I'm 
so early. You can't see it because my face is over here. Here, let's move this up so you can see what's going on over there. <clears throat> oh. Man, I feel like I waited forever for that pitch. Trying to foul that off. Boys. We got some Casamigos. There we go. He's going to track that down. His outman's really good defensively, so. Get out of play. Get out of play. There we go. Man, Dodger Stadium used to have as much foul ground as the Oakland Coliseum, and they, they started adding a whole bunch of box seats down the line. They pushed the dugouts out towards the field. It was just, just go look at highlights from like the 70s, the World Series in the 70s when they played the Yankees or the A's, and you're going to see a ton of foul ground. <clears throat> One ball, two strikes. Let's go. Two ball, two strikes. Love me those high pitches. Come on. Come on. Ooh, almost painted it. <clears throat> That's battling, making throw those pitches. It's his, uh, he's still got energy. He's probably got one more inning, maybe. Ah, come on, Jordan. We gotta make good contact here. I was right on that ball. I dipped my PCI. All right. This should be the last inning for Gray. I think he's already at yeah, 87 pitches. So, You know, I like to go deep in games with the starting pitchers, but I'm not sure uh, it would be smart going with Gray or any of these pitchers that I'm not familiar with. This was, this was Aaron Nola or Lewis Casey or Padilla, whatever, from Oakland. And then Alcantara, all those guys I was used to throwing with, I, I would pitch them while they're tired, but nice pitch. Ball, and Lars, get there. All right, through six. Might go seven. He didn't throw a lot of pitches that inning. Daniel Hudson, former diamond back. Let's go, Lars. He's got slider change. I start my PCI right here at the top of the center field ball because I have a tendency to dip. And if I dip it too much, but I'm starting here, that means I should dip it to here and still be in the middle of the strike zone, right? And I'm right on a high fastball. Ah, good pitch. One ball, two strikes. Battle, battle, battle. 
drop this to the bottom of the wall. Last year when I started, I was like right here and I was dipping it so low, I was popping everything up. Oh, he's got it. Ha <laughs> ha. That high pitch. That's why we put the PCI so high. He crushed that pitch. <laughs> 454. I didn't even see where it landed. Damn. All right. Let's go, Mason. He's two for two. Wouldn't mind having his uh, contact get boosted. Yeah. I like that high fastball a little too much. <clears throat> Tommy two bags. Let's go. This dude's got like a math math degree. Like an he'll be uh he'll be part of an, somebody's analytics department when he gets done playing. No, no, thank you. you yeah. We'll bring Gray out to start the seventh and see how it goes. Um, guys, when you're building your teams and you're trying to get your bullpen, look at the, the guys you're trying to sign and trade for. Go look at their pitching clutch. Hits per nine, pitching clutch, strikeouts per nine. But there are some guys that, if you can go get Nick Sandlin off Cleveland, Karen Chack off Cleveland, Brian Abreu off Houston, um, all those guys have high 90s clutch, high 90s hits per nine. Pretty good strikeouts per nine, all the Sandlin's is low, but I, I'm going to show you something later. I'm doing a sim, sim only franchise with the Rockies, and uh, he had one outlier year. The rest are just phenomenal, like ERAs in the low twos and in the ones. <clears throat> oh, and Fiend, that guy I drafted at 81 overall guy I drafted for Colorado. He's 22 years old, and he's a 99 overall. He just won the MVP. Just won the MVP. <clears throat> so like 40 bombs and 50 doubles or some crap like that. Is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And the other guy, the first baseman I drafted with the second pick is, is really good too. All right, we're at 92 pitches. Uh, two lefties. Yeah, let's bring in JoJo. I don't do the whole warm-up garbage because it saps your uh, all those pitches it it takes away from your uh, pitch count in the game your energy drops which is not how that works in your life <laughs> come on Tommy get there just fast enough Hopefully Victor Scott improves and we can get him up because he's got stupid speed. He's got 99 speed, 99 steel, and great defense. He's just got to get his hitting going. He's not going to hit a lot of power, so we just need him to make contact and get on base. But he's going to cover everything. <clears throat> Scott would be a perfect center fielder for the Rockies. That contact guy... 
to get on base uh, ahead of all the hitters, steal bases and get in scoring position, and then cover everything in the outfield. Guys, amazing. All right, let's go. Got him. There we go. JoJo racks up a whole bunch of saves as well. I've seen him win the uh, Reliever of the Year award in the Sim with other teams. Normally I let my starting pitcher go if he has a shutout, but I don't want to lose this game. <laughs> I want to get off on a good start here. <clears throat> yeah, Donovan is actually good. Doesn't have a lot of power, but 69 contacts not bad against lefties. And I sit right here against lefties. And I swung over that. Anything down and away, we just let it go. But those inside and middle pitches, we're going to attack. All right, Goldschmidt has great power. He's got like 90, 90 contact and high 80s power against lefties. Ah! Yeah, 83, so it's not high 80s. But we need to do damage against lefties with him. Yeah, I was trying to shoot that the right. Still so impatient at the plate. One ball, one ball, two strikes. Yeah, I'll show you that team. Um, if you have to go and you need to watch the VOD later, it'll probably be at the very end. Nope. Nope. That's um, their pitching staff is all pretty much homegrown. In fact, they had too many pitchers. Should have traded some away. I will tell you, Jonathan, India loves to hit in Colorado. <laughs> so does Riley Green. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see the season that Riley Green just had. Led the league in hitting, had 35 bombs and 100 RBIs in the leadoff spot. Yeah, that team was just filthy. And I don't think we won the World Series. I don't think... I don't, I don't know if I started the playoffs or not. Or if I did and we lost. I'll, I'll lost the look at the end. That team was stacked. They won 97 games. And there's no big name free agent on that roster, I don't believe. All right, six outs to go. Who's up? Bats, lefty, lefty. Yeah, we'll leave them in face bats. Look, Contreras, catch the ball. Wow. Yeah, some of those other ones should have been strikes. Take that. 
Uh, get over there, get over there. Yes. <clears throat> Man, I came this close to just putting on CPU fielding because I get so frustrated with this game. Stream's lagging, so hit refresh, guys. There we go. Wow. Missed that pitch high and inside. Lucky you didn't hit it out. All right. We got three outs to go. Helsley's coming in regardless of the score. I jumped at that pitch. I was so excited. I was like, oh, he hung that slider, and I whiffed. Oh, I was jumped out of my seat to hit that pitch. Nah, don't swing at that garbage. Even if it's a strike, you can't hit it. Come on. Let's go. Groove it. All right, full count. Just a piece. Let's go. All right. Get the walk. Come on, Jordan. Mr. Candy Bar, the Lars Newt Bar. Oh. All right. It's Helsley time. pop-ups today. A lot of pop-ups today. There we go. Just like that, three nothing shutout. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Yeah. 
Game over, man. It's game over. All right. Everybody but Walker had a hit. All right. Not bad. Lars and Wilson with homers. Sonny Gray pitched out of early trouble. JoJo, no runs, no hits. Helsley, no runs, no hits. Glass now gave up nine hits. Freeman with no hits. All right. <coughs> All right, now we'll get some simming done. All right, so I think we're going to play this game here. Look at all those road games. So instead of the Mets, maybe we play Milwaukee. Play one of these day games here and then we'll sim out the rest of the month all right and we lose seven to five Gorman and Arenado with home runs Gibson did okay but Helsley gave up a grand slam to lose the game looks like Max Muncy hit him for a grand slam. Yamamoto, five runs and uh, seven innings. Or sorry, five runs, seven hits, and five innings. And then we lost one to nothing. Arnado with a steal. Matt's pitched well. Middleton gave up the loss. Dude, it wasn't a home run. Bobby Miller, dude's phenomenal. And then we lose 11 to 8. So the only game we won was a game we played. Michaelis, Zach Thompson got lit. Jeez. It's going to be a familiar refrain the whole year. Pitching's just going to kill us. New bar, another two hits and three runs. Contreras with four hits. Edmund and Goldschmidt and Walker are struggling. <clears throat> All right. Lance Lynn against Dylan Cease. And no, oh, 7 0. All right. Arenado and Walker with home runs. Ivan Herrera comes in to catch, give Contreras a break, and goes three for three, two ribs. Lance Lynn, eight hit shutout. Wow. And then they get a three nothing shutout. Goldschmidt with a home run. Sonny Gray gave up 10 hits, but no runs. So he's got no runs allowed all season. Can we get the sweep? Yes, 8-1. to one. We gave up one run the entire series against the Padres. Gorman, Arenado, and Brandon Crawford with home runs. Kyle Gibson pitched great. Kittredge comes in, closes that out. Nice. All right, here's our home opener. That was today. This is today's date right here. And here we go tomorrow. We always get the next day off in case it rains. All right, Marlins, 4-2 to two win. Beat up on Lozardo, Walker, and Contreras with home runs. Got a lot of power on this team, so that's not going to be a problem. It's going to be the pitching. Steven Matz joins Sonny Gray with allowing zero runs on their first two starts. Send that. <clears throat> I haven't saved yet, so I need to save before we lose power or some stupid thing happens. All right. Fiend's going to be interested in this one. As soon as I hit sim this game, we're going to get to scout. Curious to see what's available. And lose four to three. Berger and Bell with home runs. A.J. Puck has a good game. Arenado and Walker. Home runs again. Michaelis. Contreras error. Cost him. <laughs> yep. All right. Here we go. And this is what I have. 
98 efficiency, 91 pitcher, 95 efficiency, 95 position, 97 discovery. So Fiend is a dude that uh, showed me how to do this, so I take no credit. <laughs> None. Um, needs starting pitching. And it doesn't have... We need everything on... on we need first and third base because it's counting our, our MLB guys. First, third, catcher are more important than outfield with this team. So we're going to go there for now. We'll adjust. I change these based on who I'm scouting for that individual week just to get an extra boost. So discover international pitchers and scout international pitchers. And let's look. First look. Well, looks like we have a generational pitcher right here. 19 years old. Wow. Here's another one that's not bad. His per nine are low. His per nines are going to be pretty good, except for his hits. His velocity is okay. 99 four seam, 99 two seam, slider change up. Well, catcher, he's 11. He's 22 years old. I would have to say that's got to change. I don't think that's going to stay as a 22 year old. I don't think he's going to stay. I think that's only 11 points, right? Closer. Anytime you go, I, I start, usually what I'll do is I'll start here and I'll start counting closers and relievers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it locked up? Yeah, it might be. Hold on. There we go. Some reason the capture card just like stops. So here we go. Lee Boyle, nineteen year old, looks like a generational pitcher to me, right? This guy's twenty one, so he looks pretty good. He'll be more advanced. Twenty one, he might be closer to the mid eighties instead of the mid nineties. This is the catcher I was talking about. His potential is really high. It's only 11 off on his overall max, right? He's 22 years old. He looks good. But since he's 22, I would have to imagine, based on watching you and stuff that I've done, that he might he might drop. I don't think he's going to stay that high as a 22-year-old. As I was saying, I go through and I count the, starting, the closing pitchers and relievers because if there's a bunch of closing pitchers and relievers at the start, that means all the other position players and starting pitchers that are further back are all going to move up the list and get taken way earlier than what their thing says because they're not going to take all those closers, especially they're not going to take all those relievers in the first round. Closers might go early, but not the relief pitchers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys in the first round that are relief pitchers. So, <clears throat> why is it not showing me my picks? All right, I had this happen to me the other night. It won't show my picks. So, I'm going to save. I'm going to exit out of the game and reload the game. Because it wasn't showing me my draft picks. I had no idea what pick I had. There we go. No, up here on the left, you can see. Seven, then we jumped to 83, 113. Yeah, it, it, uh, we got a huge drop there. So if we can get one of these starting pitchers. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
we got six six pitchers starting at the top of the list, plus a catcher, a left fielder, third base, center field. There have been a lot more 20, 21, 22 year old guys at the top of the draft. So, i.e., college players, right? I've been I've been noticing that a lot more. And this guy is 18, but that overall from 47 to 81, that's a huge gap. You can see he's got power, he's got defense, and some speed, but he's gonna be. A, looks like he's gonna be nothing but a power hitter, and he might hit like 190. <laughs> This guy's a little bit more even, but he can't field his way out of a paper bag. All right, so let's go. I've got this guy we could look at. So anybody that's below like 90, 80s, 90s, we're not going to be able to get unless we take him in the first round. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That's why we had the backup one. <clears throat> there we go. All right, first base. These guys will not drop. This guy would. Those guys we could get later. Only four off on there. You know he's got to drop. There's another just power. Man, they got that 65 to 99 potential, so it looks like they could be really good, but that 38 to 72. See, I'd rather have Monty Franco, who could get up and at least be a bench bat quicker. There's another dude that could just be up quicker. He's not going to have. Yeah, see, I see these guys with that high potential at 22. I see them dropping a lot. They aren't as good as they say they are. This guy could be good. Not a good fielder. But he's got great, great hitting skills and really good speed. He's probably going to be a DH to start. There's another guy that could be good. He could be garbage. Great power and speed on Oka. No power here. He's all speed. This guy's a nice mix, but he's 21, so he could be worse than what he looks like. There's another of those guys that can hit with no power. They have great speed. He's 21, though. <clears throat> this is the classic young outfielder build right here. <laughs> All right, so who do I want to... Let's go back to the first round. I'm going to check this catcher just to see what he is. I think he's not going to be as good because he's 22. I think those are going to change. That's just what I've seen. So, all right, there we go. Oh, hey, I didn't put my sponsorships. Let's get a little extra money here. <clears throat> all right. So, pitchers, Boyle, Castro, Mora, Home runs and control are low. Tharp. Just hits per nines. Home runs. Control are low. Fagan is hits and control. Everything else. Got great velocity. 99 mile an hour cutter. Woo. Salgado. His walks and strikeouts are low. His per nines are low. Yeah, 
things. No. Plus, we're gonna we're going to uh, find some more guys because we're we're discovering. So we'll see what happens here. All right. All right. And we lost the series to Miami. Garrett pitches well. Lance Lynn, unearned runs. I don't see any errors. Must have been a passed ball, maybe. Doesn't show passed ball, though. Three hits for Goldschmidt. <clears throat> All right. We'll play this game here, and then one against Milwaukee, and the rest are all going to be sim. So we'll get through this so we can look at these prospects. And we beat Christopher Sanchez, Gorman, and Dylan Carlson with home runs. Gray finally gives up his first runs of the year. Seven to two, Schwarber homers. Beat up on Zach Wheeler, Goldschmidt, and Gorman with home runs. Kyle Gibson pitched great. I said our pitching sucked because it's so old. And we swept the Phillies. Nola pitched okay. Alvarado got beat up. Tommy Edmond with a home run. Matz gives up his first runs. And the Rule 5 guy gets the win. <clears throat> All right, at Arizona, we lose 5 nothing. Michaelis gets bombed. Look at this. Zach Thompson throws four and a third shutout innings, and he lowers his ERA to 10. <laughs> I'll look at stats here in a minute. I want to get through this week so we can do the scouting. And we lost 9-2. to two. Jordan Walker with a home run. Lance Lynn gets beat up. All right. So, here we go. I thought that guy was too good to be true. He's fully scouted because he's 22. So, his powers can... Eh, his contact is really good. So, the dude can hit. Doesn't have a lot of speed. And his defense is going to be average. So, you're looking at what? Low 80 potential, low 70s overall. <clears throat> it's not going to be a stud. And as a first round pick, you want it to be a lot higher than that. All right, so we scouted 27 guys. We found four more. Let's look for the NRs. There we go. Brian Batista. We found him. He's 22. He's another guy. High, high floor. Antonio Cortez. His home runs of control are kind of... A lot of pitches. He's 22. Giancarlo Marte. All these... And found one relief pitcher. Where's Boyle? Boyle is Indiana, so that's Central. So we're going to do all of the international, and then I'll do Central. <clears throat> it's usually what I do. Central or East, but usually I just default to Central. It looks like we got a lot of Central guys anyway, so that's good. So that's what we'll do. Especially since he's on the board. We'll get him at least 80%. Maybe 100 because he's 19 Not much catcher wise. We may have to look at him. All right. 83, huh? So I can't look at any of these guys. Benny Ha. Could get all these 22 year olds scouted for later in the draft.
Let's check out. Yeah, his, his. Eighty-three, huh? So none of these guys. That's the problem not having this pick. We have nothing. We're going to be taking a lot of pitchers. I can tell you that. A lot of pitchers. Yep. Yeah, I will do discovery. Once we get done with the pitchers, I'm probably only going to do four weeks of discovery for for international and then four more for central and then try to discover more hitters. Because we'll have plenty of pitchers to look through. Um, but if we could sneak a position player late, that would be awesome. But I don't expect it. We're, none of these guys are going to be, I mean, this guy's, a lot of these guys are just going to be not usable. So, I mean, we're missing out on all these guys, even if they were good. So all of a sudden we're looking at this. Or that. Man, that whole position is gone. Wow. All right, so let's look at the other position players that are early, like this guy, just in case. Yep. Keep discovering, keep scouting. And since we pick at seven, we don't know who's going to fall, who's going to jump. I mean, he could jump to one or two. He could fall to ten. So, we'll just uh, scout any of the hitters that are top 10, top 15, and then try and discover more guys later. <clears throat> I think I'll probably try to discover infielders more than outfielders, but we'll see. And we're going to play this game here. Hey, we got an 8-5 win. Home runs by Goldschmidt, Edmund, and Gorman. Sonny Gray pitched well again. Gallegos didn't. Rule 5 guy gets a... He's like a 56 overall. He gets another win. All right. Let's get some standings. Feels like we're doing better, but we're not. We're three and a half games out. <clears throat> we're in the wild card race. Um, Gorman... Five home runs, hitting 292. Goldschmidt, three home runs, four RBIs. What? <laughs> he scored 15 runs, but he's only driven in four. Wow. Arnato, Newt Barr, Contreras, Donovan, Edmonds, not doing great. Walker, four home runs, six RBI. He hasn't driven in a run. They need to quit playing Mace, uh, Brandon Crawford, though. He, Dylan Carlson, we're going to trade him away. He might go at the trade deadline. All right, so 129, he's 3-0. 261, 338, Matt's 147. So Michaelis is the only one pitching like garbage. 23 hits and 13 yeah, his hits per nine are just... He's already regressing. What is his contract? Oh. We got him for another $18 million. Matt's one more year. Lynn's gone. Gibson's gone. And Gray, two more years at 25 mil. So his overall... He's regressing already. He's going to be in the mid-70s by the time his contract is up. Romero's doing well. Kittredge, Middleton. Thompson had one bad outing and he's trying to come back from. Why is he not pitching? He had one bad outing too. All right, let me fix this. The pitching rotations in this game. They're not using our setup guy. Why? Let's flip those two. Three RBI. I wish it would quit subbing in Crawford for win. 
Just let them play. I know, his stats are better. I want Wynn to play every day. <clears throat> All right. Oakland. Hey, we win 3-2. to two. Goldschmidt gets an RBI, and it's not a home run. Gibson's pitching great. There we go. Gallegos comes in. And then we get a shutout. Steven Matz, 098. Who thought? Who would have ever expected Steven Matz to have an 098? All right, save this one more time. Then we're going to go play in our old ballpark that we made for our A's franchise last year. <clears throat> Who's pitching Michaelis? All right, let's see if we can fix his stats. Having a good game. And what uniforms do we want Oakland to wear? Let's go with these. We'll go with the baby blues. <clears throat> it's finding my ballpark. There we go. There it is. Overcast, that's fine. It's a retractable dome, technically retractable. Don't they don't have that programmed in, but who's pitching stripling, huh? Here we go. All right. <clears throat> I won't spam X. I'll let you see some of this park. There's our double deck. And see, I put marble facing above the windows of the box. And then I put some box bleacher seats up above. I had some palm trees over the, to the right of the scoreboard. I took out a big light that was built into the wall. <clears throat> See, now they have fans standing in line at the concession stand back there. <clears throat> Behind the outfield wall. And this is why it's called Treehouse Park. It's the treehouse. A row of treehouses out there beyond center field. Like the wind is blowing in, even though this is a dome. Ah. Nope, nope, that's in. Two, 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 two. Tardy. I don't feel tardy. Let's go. And in that corner, I moved the statue back and pulled the uh, batting cage up closer to the wall. I don't need to do a screen capture for the uh, for the thumbnail because I already have one created with real photos of Wynn and Walker and Gorman. That's a ball. One ball, no strike. Ah, jam me. Damn it.
What's up, fam? How you doing, man? Hey, we're playing in your uh, your your uh, your A's new ballpark that I made. Walker's not gonna get there. He's not fast enough. There's Campy's corner. <coughs> How you doing, man? Here, give you a shout out. It is called Treehouse Park in Oakland um, 2.0. I, I, uh, I can't spell today. Make sure you, you look for the whole thing. Cause I, 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 uh, have multiples out there. This is the one you want. If you just see, if you see one that just says treehouse park, that one's at elevation. It's at 5,000 feet elevation. So you can, use it for grinding on Diamond Dynasty. Um, and it's not exactly the same dimensions. I had to use standard, whatever their dimensions are, so that it works online. <clears throat> and I know I haven't I haven't addressed it anywhere, but seriously, Nelly lost by one stinking vote. One vote. One vote. Guys, we fam is in a uh, head-to-head NCAA 14 league with me and some other guys and uh i'm north carolina and my running back had 1500 yards rushing 1300 yards receiving he had 41 total touchdowns and he lost the heisman by one vote so <laughs> i don't know how much more i could do fam he had 400 yards of offense and five touchdowns against florida so whatever Why is it? Why would it not give me the shortstop on that play? Why would it go to the center fielder who's like fifty yards away? The shortstop can run out and catch that ball, or even the left fielder. Anything close. A strong arm, but it's not very accurate. Alright. 
see if we can be patient. Over his head. Yep. Is he going to be there in time or is he going to be super slow? Safe. There we go. Woo. Legged out that double. <clears throat> All right. One Nolan to the next. I think Gorman's not good at really. Well, his feeling's not that great, but his his speed is. Yeah, he hung it, and I. Mm -hmm. Fam, we haven't done a shot yet, but we might before this game's over. Get down. Nope. All right. Look at how Butler's holding his bat. How can you swing with your hands that tight and that close to your body? Dude's a platinum glover and he can't feel the ground ball. Stay off that. You don't want that stuff down low. Get it up here. One ball, two strikes. So, fam, are the A's going to stay in Oakland for five more years, or what's going on, man? No. No. Committed to swing before I ever saw where the ball was going. It's going to be one of those frustrating games at the plate, I can tell already. <laughs> you got gifted this up to baby back. Uh, fuck that guy. Sacramento. Mm. That's hilarious. 
That should really piss him off. <laughs> That'd be like uh, me or Franchise getting one in his, too. Ah. That's hilarious. I'm banned from his chat, and I don't care because he's such an asshole. Much better after that first inning. Now we gotta get some runs. I can hear Harry Carey yelling, let's get some runs. Yeehaw. I'd listen to him all through high school and college with WGN since we didn't have uh, as many of these uh, Fox and Valley regional stations. I grew up watching the Braves and Cubs on cable. Skip Carey on Atlanta and Harry on the Cubs. Now we have Chip as our main guy for the Cardinals baseball. Just mm. make that change up way early. Let's go. That just feels weak. There's no power behind this, these these swings and contact. Says it was good contact. It doesn't feel like it. That's better. It's more of a line drive. <clears throat> they definitely changed hitting this year. I don't know why. The best best MLB show with hitting is the one with Donaldson on the cover. Oh, stay back. You're way out in front of that pitch. One first. All right, Goldschmidt. Oh, if I could hit one off the scoreboard with Gorman here. In on me, in on my hands. All right, it's the other Nolan. I'm gonna hit a ball hard yet. We're in the fourth inning. Well, that dealt that Contre Contreras hit was good. Come on. ready. You guys know what time it is. <clears throat> Vaughn starts getting crabby. <laughs> you all know why we have those emotes for a reason. That's going to be a long fly out. Anyway, while the A's run off the field, 
we're going to have a little bit of an attitude adjustment. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? All right. Here's to all you guys for following me and for Fiend for uh, joining the stream today and providing great content, man. Appreciate all you guys. That's, a ball. That's, a ball. That's gone. On the slider. Franchise, welcome in, man. Appreciate you, man. FG, one of my good buddies here online, man. <clears throat> it's just the game. Yeah. It's playing differently this year, especially the hitting. <clears throat> Go check out Franchise Gaming over on YouTube as well, although you got different names over there now Why do they take so long to throw the freaking ball? That was an easy tapper to the mound. Yeah, I should have gone the first, but that he should have got the guy out at second base. He caught the ball and ran two steps forward. That's, a ball. One -oh. That's why I almost put on auto fielding because I'm getting so frustrated with this yeah. bullshit. I forgot to fire our manager. Regardless of how we play this year, I'm getting rid of Marmol. That son of a bitch should not have gotten extension this year from the Cardinals. I can't stand that guy. And now we got to throw to first again because he's too slow. Got those guys in scoring position. You got to throw high pitches and get them to pop it up. <clears throat> now we got two outs. Can't complain about the home run. I mean, I, mean, I hung the slider. Look where it is. Right over the middle of the plate. But the hitting is just atrocious right now. The wind's blowing in, too. FG, I turned down the uh, wind, so it wouldn't be such an issue. But look how strong that wind is blowing in. Damn, we're getting everything right at him. <clears throat> Come on, Lars. Must be the shoes. Thank you. 
too close to take. Would have been strike three. All right. Wow, he actually swung at that pitch. It was so far off the plate. <clears throat> How you doing, FG? We, uh, we got like three days off. We don't have to ref. So we're going to get a couple streams in here. And then I got to ref nine days in a row. And four of those are club regional tournaments. So I'll be refing all freaking day each of the next two Saturdays and Sundays. It's good money. I mean, I'll make like $1,200 for those two weekends, but and then I have five straight days of high school boys next week. Oh, Mason! I will tell you, I am studying to get a uh, certificate in bookkeeping and then I'm going to take a course so I can be an expert at QuickBooks and I'm going to transition into being a bookkeeper whether it's at a business or on my own and I do contract stuff online <laughs> build your desk nice yeah I've been following your Mets series I tried to do, uh, you know, YouTube stuff for the uh, Tampa Rays, and I moved them to Nashville, but nobody watched them. Nobody. Nobody watched them. Like 10 views. It's like, why am I spending eight hours editing video if you're not going to watch it? I have more views from my stream being archived over there than I do half hour episodes on on YouTube so it's not worth the trouble <clears throat> it's pretty sad when a three and a half hour long stream does better than a half hour half hour video Bury this down and away. Got him. There we go. Got him. And the whiff. We need to get Dan Patrick sound command for strikeouts that says and the whiff. I drove in there last run. Luckily, there's nobody on base. Yeah, yeah, you thought that was a fastball, didn't you? And that's out of play. You can see FG, I changed his ballpark just a little bit. Let's see if he wants to 12 6. off the wall over the wall so that here let me show you something
This this chain link fence that's above the wall is behind the wall. So if it hits that fence, it's a ground rule double because it's beyond the wall. So that's what just happened there. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we gotta get some runs, man. Yeah, Fiend, I don't understand, man. You, your, your, your scouting video has a ton of views, and it deserves a ton of views. But sometimes your other content, I don't understand why. You should get way more views for your your stuff. It's 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 awesome. I enjoy watching your stuff. You know what you're doing. Um, I don't watch the NBA stuff because I'm not into the NBA, but I watch the NFL. I watch the MLB, and I don't. My problem is I do college football streams and MLB streams, so I have two sets of, of groups of people that follow me, and they don't cross over. And I thought maybe shortening it down from three, three and a half hours, five, five and a half hours would be good, but it doesn't matter. And I will go into my streams and I will say... All right, here's when this game starts. There's when this game starts. Here's when this game starts. So you can skip all the stuff in between. If you just want to watch gameplay, you can click, you know, I pin the post so you can go look at it and click and go watch. Um, but when I do the shorter episodes and edit it down, I get complaints because it's it's a, a broadcast instead of a live stream. I don't understand. I don't know. And then I'll randomly get an NCAA video that gets like 8,000 views out of nowhere. And then the next one's like 10. <laughs> I don't understand YouTube's algorithms at all. Get through, get through, get through. Nope. We're going to get shut out because I can't fucking hit today. There we go. Adios, bitch. Stand that guy. Our manager is such a fucking piece of shit. Cannot stand that guy. He was up one run. You take him out of the game. All right, this guy has gas. Look at that, fourteen point seven three ERA. This guy has gas, but he's not good. He's like in the sixties overall. Drop, drop, thank you. An, these created stadiums have entirely too much foul ground. They have the bullpens in foul territory instead of behind the outfield wall. And you can't move them. It's really annoying to make stadiums when you can't move the bullpen beyond the outfield wall. And San Diego doesn't care. There we go. Down the line. Dig, 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 dig. I want you on second. There we go. All right, tying run with two outs. That kicks in the clutch. Who's up? <laughs> Lars. All right, he's got 86 clutch. That improves over his contact, so let's go. Come on, Lars. Oh. That was a tequila swinging right there. chat i was watching mills because he was the only one doing franchise with Kula. showed my comment a custom game entry needing to fix up some of the big streamers are just a little too full of themselves oh man i thought that was in the corner just because you disagree with a comment doesn't mean that comment is irrelevant <laughs> Maybe sometimes we play the game just as much or more than you, and we have a 
a valid point and you just don't want to deal with it at the time i mean all right i'm not going to get on a rant here because you know i like a good rant but <clears throat> there's the game is not perfect there's shit wrong with the game um yeah yeah there's the, the game is broken at some point there's there's stuff goes on that they need to fix and they don't acknowledge it and they take forever to fix it uh, I'm going to tell you something. I worked at a fantasy sports company. You know what I'm talking about. I worked at a fantasy sports company for 13 years, actually longer than that. After that was all contract work. Um, and these programmers do not play the game that they work on. Most of them are are just geeks. They're programming geeks. They They don't care about sports. And they don't play the game. So they don't have a reference on how shit should work. FG, they have the wrong people as spokesmen, okay? There are people who don't get the number of views that other people do that actually are better at the game. They're better at the franchise part of the game than just some streamer who's got thousands of people viewing their streams because they're popular. Doesn't mean they're better. They just have more people watching. You know, maybe they like their shtick. I don't do shtick. You know that. I am me, and if you like me, great. If you don't like me, click the X and get the fuck out. Just leave. I'd rather you leave than sit here and bitch at me, all right? I'm not perfect. I am who I am. I, I, sh I wear my emotions on my sleeve. You will see when I'm happy when I'm pissed off, man. And we know the games are broken. Um, everybody loves NCAA because it's the last version of the game, but that game sucks too. The break tackle on that game is broken. We got 50 break tackle quarterbacks breaking six tackles and running 50 yards down the field, Right? That's why I keep telling everybody asks me about the new NCAA game. It comes down to gameplay. Everything else they can fix later, but if the gameplay is just like Madden, I'm not playing it. It's garbage. <clears throat> I'll just do Sim Dynasties and move on. If I want to play the game, I'll play NCAA. But you got certain people that play the game and they, they get a lot of following and they're influential and they're wrong. They're just straight out wrong. And they're afraid to, to say what is actually wrong with the game because they don't want to lose that access to, to early stuff and all that good stuff. Don't be a pussy. Say when the games are good. Say when the games are bad. Because the games won't get better if we just eat that crap burger and, and live with whatever they give us, right? Back in the day, back in the early 2000s, man, the game was much games were much better. And now it's just flat-out garbage. I like the new scouting for MLB, um, but it could be better. We need to not take a whole week to scout everybody. We don't get to see nearly enough scouting, and there's not nearly enough players that are usable in a franchise because they may be an A potential, but they're a 47 or a 53, and they take until their late 20s to be usable. Exactly, they don't want to lose that. The regression progressions broke. They fall off a cliff too fast as veterans, and the young guys don't progress quick enough to replace them. So you end up with lower overall players being the star players, and it's that way in every game. Well, Madden's not so bad as far as that goes. Madden's problem is that just the gameplay is atrocious. If you sim, it's okay. And even that, it's not okay. <clears throat> You guys saw my series with, was it Madden 22? And I lost two playoff games because the quarterback took a sack in the end zone for one and didn't use a timeout, let the clock run out when they had a chance to kick a field goal for the win. Didn't tell me the runner was going. Throw, bare hand throw, scoop, there we go. All right, we got out of that jam. Michaelis is done. Mason Miller, I put this guy on my fantasy team because he's going to be their closer at some point. Dude was, is straight up filthy as a, as a reliever. 
You saw how much I struggle with him as a starting pitcher in my A's franchise because his control is all over the board. There we go. There we go. Time runs on. We're going to bunt. This isn't analytics. What was that? How did he foul that straight back? I didn't see what happened with the Dolphins. Was it because they traded Diggs to uh, Houston? I had Diggs on my team last year in fantasy, and he was great the start of the year, but he sucked down the stretch. Houston's like going all in. They're ready to win now. <laughs> and that division is... That division is so winnable. Come on, Donnie. That was tequila late there. Oh, that's going to get caught. Yeah, I'm kind of on the fence, though, whether you should sign two a long term or not. <clears throat> Let's try and get Gallegos' stats down a little bit because he's uh, he got ruined by one of bullpen appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now, looking for St. Louis. Does Buffalo still have Gabe Davis, or did he leave too? Oh, my God. Just missed it. How does he pull that pitch down and away for a home run? Because we left it over the middle of the plate. Both home runs were center cut. That's the ball. Curtis Samuel. That's terrible. They're going to be throwing the ball to the tight ends all day. They just drafted a tight end last year, plus they have Knox. But, yeah, they're, they're going to have trouble. And everybody's going to blame it on the quarterback. Allen can only throw it to who he has to throw it to, right? That's why I like Kansas City getting Hollywood Brown, because... Come on! Yeah, that was on purpose. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> I'd like to get out of this inning with something close to uh, achievable runs, but that was fucking bullshit, man. Give me the ball. Catchers take forever to throw the ball back to the pitcher. All right, Gallegos is done. He hasn't gotten anybody out.
God damn, that was on the ground he swung at. Where's that throw? I love how this game just randomly throws the ball nowhere near the cutoff guy. I threw that to the cutoff guy, not to third base. This is fucking bullshit. What is that animation? Might have to turn off the camera and stand up and swing like Jimmy does. Pitch. Wouldn't have mattered. I was going to be a strike anyway. Look at him painting that corner. Of course, we hit it to the wall. They hit him out. We hit it to the wall. That was two balls to the deep part, whatever.
Whatever. Fucking Gallegos. All right, we're going to play... Who's pitching this day? We're going to play this game, this Sunday game, against Milwaukee. Um, and we'll sim out the rest of the month. So let's sim so we can look at our our recruiting. <laughs> you can tell I got NCAA on the brain, our scouting. All right. Ashby. Helsley blew another damn save. I signed him to an extension, and the guy can't get anybody out. And we lose 5-2. to two. Yelich and Bowers with home runs. Contreras. Yeah, Gray got lit up. All right. So this left fielder is looking pretty good. Can't field very well. Everything else offensively is really good. We'll go another week with him. We found three more pitchers. This guy's 22. This guy's 22. This guy's 23, so we have some older guys. Not what we're looking for. Lefty reliever. Doesn't have good walks per nine at all. But it's still early on him. <coughs> what week are we? Week three. All right, so keep going. All right, Milwaukee. Ooh, Freddy Peralta. This might be a rough game. <clears throat> <clears throat> I was going to play the Mets FG, but I want to play a home game so you guys can see our stadium. Where our Sunday... No, actually, they're Saturdays. That's the cap we wear on Sundays. Clear skies. All right. Gibson. At some point, we're going to have to get Edmund out of the leadoff spot. Maybe put Newt Barr or somebody else up there. I have seen so many games in this stadium. All right, so when we get behind home plate when we're batting, I can show you the building that my wife works in. That's going to be a triple. Ooh, got to it quick enough. He held him to two. All right. <clears throat> Here, I can show you right now. See that building where it says Cardinal Nation? Beyond that building, that big square building, that's where she works. That's how close to the stadium she works. <clears throat> Coach, what's up, Rousseau? How you doing, man? Welcome in. You Heisman Steeler, you. 
<laughs> Can you believe one stinking vote? <clears throat> Give my man a shout out here. There's another NCAA guy. High school coach for football, so he knows what he's talking about. What's up, tight spot? How you doing? Another one that supports me really well. Welcome in, guys. So we beat the Dodgers and shut them out, and then we couldn't handle the A's. And now I'm struggling to pitch with uh, Gibson. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, my guy won all those awards. <laughs> Here's another one for you. My kick returner, Rolls Royce, was first team All-American kick returner, but he doesn't win the Jet Award. He makes no sense. That's going to drop. Guys, we can't be giving up these early leads. This is fucking horrendous. No, no, inside. When have you seen me struggle pitching this much? Go Brewers. All I had to say to you is 1982. <laughs> I was there in game six. What was that? Thirty two pitch first inning.
Yeah, not no Woodruff either because he's out for the year. So, but our pitching isn't uh, stellar to begin with. <clears throat> I'll take our offense over theirs any day, though. Coach, I didn't know you were a Cardinals fan. You're four zero. Yeah, it's a long season. God damn, this game. Why is the hitting so bad in this game? No, no, no solid contact whatsoever. Even that. That's a dying quail. I was waiting for it to get to me, and I was still way too early. Nice, nice paint job. Yeah, our division's weak. The Cubs are probably the ones that are going to win the division. Reds need pitching. Although, the Cubs just lost steel for, what, a month, month and a half? You're going to win? We'll see. No Devin Williams will definitely hurt at some point. Uribe is gonna, not going to be perfect, that's for sure. That's foul. My son missed playing with Williams in high school by one year. I can tell we need to get pitchers that I can pitch with because these guys are definitely not. He's going to fuck that up. Nope. Um, they are not pitchers that I, uh, the timing is just not right on them. You saw what I was like with Nola. Once I get his, mo his motion down and the timing, it's like lights out. See if we can put this cutter on the corner. Jesus. This inning with minimal damage. God damn, fifty one pitches and we're in the second. contact and lazy play ball.
Yeah, this this whole staff needs to be fixed. One one. One one. Coach, we have no starting pitcher under the age of thirty three. We gotta we gotta do some work. <clears throat> See if we can find something in a draft. And I have two guys that are free agents at the end of the year we can easily dispose of. So we're going to replace two guys for sure. And I definitely want to get another lefty. Whether it's in the draft or as a free agent. Libertor is probably going to have to come up and pitch next year for us. Um, <coughs> which means we can spend, you know, 20 mil on a starting pitcher if we want to. Here we go, loot. Newt down, I said loot. Lars Newt bar. He's not going to get. Oh, we already had a hit earlier. All right, Wilson. I was going to say, we're not going to get no hit, but we had, we had a guy earlier. Uh, gotta wait. My hitting is atrocious today. I hit better against the Dodgers than these guys or the A's. Walker, eh, he's doing okay. He's, you mean in this or in real life? In real life, he's actually getting better defensively. Which is very much needed. I mean, he's a third baseman. He's a big, tall dude. He's 6'6", six, six, like 240. He's a big boy. So he's not like going to run like a gazelle, right? But there we go. That's going to get us a run. In real life, yeah. He's, he's improving defensively. I imagine it's, he eventually is probably going to play first base. Mason. This guy's better offensively than he's shown at the major league level so far. Ah, way out in front. He's like a 15 home run, 25 steal guy with great glove. Mason Wynn. He was a two-way player in high school and he was doing so well as a player We didn't want to let him pitch too much in the minors. I mean, if he doesn't work out as a shortstop, they can make him a pitcher. Guy's got a cannon. I think we're putting all of our basket, all of our eggs in one basket for Tink Hence. Um, I don't know that he's going to be as dominating as we hope he's going to be. Look at that shit. If I hit that ground ball back to the CPU pitcher, he would have hockey stopped that. What is that throw? This game is so frustrating. I give up. There you go, Rocky, just for you, man. Look at this. Everything they hit finds a hole somewhere. Doesn't matter where I throw the ball. And we can't throw a ball back to a cutoff man for some reason today. Rerun. 
Right at him. Right at him. That's a good pitch. That's going to be right at him again. Man. Swung the ball for. I cannot wait to get different pitchers on this team already. We're in April and I'm ready for new pitchers. Bad route to the ball. Why can't we throw the ball to the cutoff, man? This is ridiculous. I'm done. Hundred percent user problem in that game. Contreras and Adamas hit two. Donovan Arenado and Walker hit him after. All 
All right, that'll speed things up on scouting. And then we beat Arizona. Steven Matz with a 130 ERA. Michaelis rebounds. Got her fucking bullpen ERAs are horrible. Carpenter with two home runs. Win and Herrera with home runs. <coughs> Helsley's horrible. All right. At the Mets. Sonny Gray. Keep active. Two to nothing. He only went three innings. And then we lost 10 to nothing. God. All right, scouting. So this left fielder is a possibility. He's 21. He's probably going to be a high B in the low 70s. Definitely can hit and run. Just can't field for shit. There we go. Here's another guy. Yeah. Daisuke Tanaka. All these NRs that are terrible. Fabio Colon. We found this relief pitcher. So far, his only problem is his walks per nine. Good velocity. Hey, there's nothing wrong with taking relief pitchers if we need to later. This guy looks really good. We'll see. Maybe we scout him later in the season and see what he looks like. We don't have any good starting pitchers, and he's around in the third, which I don't think he will be, but we could take him. All right, that's week four, right? That was week three. This is week four. Let me come back to the count. So we started there. So one, two, three. Yeah. So we'll go one more week with one more week discovering. And two more weeks scouting. We'll do five and five, and that leaves us with four weeks of individual scouting. So yeah, we'll go one more with international. Although there are 31 guys. I could get a head start on the central if I go now. Or position players. Got to change him. This guy's all three weeks. Yeah, this guy's nothing special. He's twenty-one. Five. Why did they make him so short? He's five-seven, playing third base. This guy, based on how you do it, this guy's a bust because there's only four points difference in his overall and his potential. This guy's not so bad, but again. He's, he's all speed. There's another guy. Good, decent fielding, not a good arm. Good speed, good power, but his bat's not going to make a lot of contact, right? And I'm picking seven, so... Yeah. This guy's 21. Do we have anybody in single digits anywhere? No. We don't have any position players that are single digits anymore. So they're all older, like this guy. Now I wish I had two uh, pitching scouts. So I could double up on pitching. 
I could have one just scouting all of the uh, central pitchers while I take another guy to go back to the international ones and scout them out to 100%. We won't have a shot at any of these guys because we're going to have to jump up to the 90s. Like, this guy's got great potential, but he's going to have a terrible overall. Even he's only 11 more. I'll scout this guy just because it's going to take one week. So we go central because why do I want to go central? Because we know that this pitcher who could be generational with the 65 99 on both sides is in Indiana. So that's in the central. And the only thing about him that's marginal is his control, but that could change once we get scouted. Right? So if he ends up on the high end of his potential and his overall, he'll be closer to 60 on his control, which isn't bad. <clears throat> 99 four seamer, 99 two seamer, slider, changeup. Usually, if they only have three pitches and they don't have a changeup, I give them a changeup. So it looks like changeup is the worst pitch. I don't think I have to add anything. And he's a lefty. This guy, his hits per nine and his control are, he's got good velocity though. Four seamer, he's got curveball, changeup, slider. <clears throat> Six four. There's another one. Hits per nine is his only problem, which is a problem, but doesn't walk anybody, so that makes up for it. Good home runs per nine. Decent cutter and fastball. A lot of stamina. Yeah. And this guy's lefty. This is closer. Here's another guy, Mora. He's in the east, so we'd have to scout him individually. Fagan, we'll get him in the central as well. Cutliff, we may have to come back for, but his per nines are not great. I just lost power in my earbud. Give me a second. See if I have sound now. All right. There it goes. Now I have sound again. So this guy's per nines are terrible, but he's got good velocity and break, and hits per nine aren't bad. His stamina is really good. A lot of pitches. Four seam, two seam, change up, slurve, curve. Might come back and do Bell. And eh, his per nines are eh. So he's basically velocity and stamina on this guy. But it says he's 19. So we can we could come back and do him maybe. Maybe not, but we'll see. This relief pitcher could be a it could be, could be not as well. But we'll see. All right, scouting there. We got <clears throat> so fiend. You only do four weeks. Four weeks on this because wait a minute, we've got it's five weeks, right? Let me find an eighteen-year-old in this. In, the, in all right, so he's eighteen. So he's he's from the start, right? Yeah, so one more week. So I got to do two more weeks to get him to 80%. Five weeks, yeah. Yep, and that's what we're doing right there. So there's your central. And we'll throw Guardado out there just for shits and giggles to see. Like I said, we may not get the pitchers we want. We may have to take a position player, but... <clears throat> 
you know, Arenado's not young either, so I just don't trust this guy, but we'll see. I don't trust these guys in their 20s to hold their numbers. We saw that with that catcher. Oh, here. I'm going to drop your link for scouting into the chat because anybody who plays this game needs to watch this video. And he explains it much better than I could. And bookmark this and watch it frequently because I will go back and watch it later. Because you can never understand something too well. <laughs> All right, let's look at our stats. Goldschmidt, three home runs, five RBIs. I am not extending him if he's got five RBIs like this. I'll go get Alonzo or somebody else. Hey, my pleasure, man. You need way more views than you get. Gorman, he's doing what he needs to, but his average sucks. Donnie's doing well at the top. I might have to move Donovan to lead off. Newt Barr's doing okay. Walker's okay. Contreras is doing well. Edmund is getting better. Wynn is there for his defense, even though he threw the ball away. Gibson doubled his ERA in one start. These two guys. I mean, we're paying this guy 25 mil to do this. This guy I don't trust. So, Gibson and Lynn are leaving as free agents. Mats and Michaelis have one more year, and Gray has two more years. Gallegos. That just doesn't... that Those numbers shouldn't be doing that badly. And neither should this guy. Look at this. He's regressing. Because he's playing so poorly. <clears throat> I, I normally would go out and trade away all these guys and go get stuff, but I want to play through this year and see how we do because... If we don't do well, I want that draft pick. I want a higher draft pick, right? Um, I don't expect us to win the Division of the World Series. We have the offense, too, but the pitching is kind of, eh. Look at this. Do we have a Cardinal on this list at all? Top 50, top 100? Tink hints. We have one guy. One guy in the top 100. Yeah, Coach. Because you saw what I did with the Rockies. I traded for Sandoval. I traded for Luzardo. I traded for Mali at the at the deadline in that season. And then the next year, we signed Nola. So we ended up transforming the entire staff in one year. And then we traded Chris Bryant and prospects to get Corey Seager. And we, pff, we won the World Series in year three, right? <laughs> I think we won back-to-back -back World Series. So, you know, this is my hometown team. I know what their strengths and weaknesses are. Our pitching is atrocious. Um, and obviously we've scouted position players really well, but we can't get pitchers. And we traded away Alcantara and Zach Gallen in the same trade to get Ozuna, not knowing those two were both going to do what they've done. But we traded away two Cy Young pitchers for a guy for two years that can't stop beating his wife. <clears throat> All right, Goldschmidt hits a home run. Matt's gets lit up. Helsley again. I got to take him out of the closing role. I can't do this. Let's go look at the minor leagues since we're almost done. 
Double A. None of these guys are worth a shit. So I don't care. Triple A. Luke and Baker hit 30 bombs last year in the minors, <clears throat> but he's 27 years old. This guy is a defensive player. He's not an offensive player. He's 26. All right. Sagesi, we got him from Texas, and his numbers should be higher. The guy hit 30 home runs and drove in 100 RBIs in the minors. This is what I'm talking about with the ratings for this game. They don't rate the minor leaguers high enough for them to progress high enough to be usable. So, yeah, he's hitting 306, but he's only got two home runs and nine RBIs because his power and his contact, especially his power, aren't high enough. His discipline, clutch, all that stuff isn't high enough. Victor Scott hitting 165. It's because his contact is so low. Dude, he stole 100 bases in the minors last year. He's never going to progress. I want this guy. I've played with this guy. We're going to bring this guy in. We're going to sign this guy as a cheap free agent next year. Good hits, good walks. I don't need the strikeouts. His great break. We're probably going to go sign him as one of our aging veteran pitchers to fill that spot in the rotation. Unless he regresses. <clears throat> Springs doesn't have high enough other stuff. We know this guy. We had him with the A's. The dude just crushes bombs. This guy should be playing in Colorado. Look at Jackson Holliday's on the trade block. I had to boost him to a 74, by the way. This guy, uh, his home runs are a bit low. His walks are really low, but... His hits and strikeouts and clutch and break. Same thing with Sims here. Don't want Flaherty back. I'm glad the Cardinals got rid of him. Pete Crow's on the trade block. He's underrated as well. <clears throat> There's nothing out here. Kurtaya, he sucked in the... Uh, why is he up in the majors? He sucked in the minors last year. I have this guy in my Rockies team. Yeah, Joey Bart's on the Pirates now. Yeah, we don't need Mead. We're just going to take it on the chin this year and uh, see how it goes. All right. Lost four to one to Detroit. Six nothing win. Walker and Carlson with home runs. Lance Lynn and Gallegos with the shutout. Look at that. Wins got two more errors. Arnado with an error. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off this week. Even though I usually stop at the end of the month, I'm not going to play against the White Sox to start the next stream. FG will probably play the Mets. We'll play the Mets, and uh, maybe we'll go to the Angels so we can see Trout. And then we'll play the Cubs. Or we'll go to Cincinnati. But I'm going to go ahead and sim through this week so we can get the uh, scouting one more week finished. And then I won't advance past that. I'll, I'll look at it, set it, and then I'm going to go back in off camera and look at these prospects a little bit better and start writing down names so I don't forget about guys. Um, that way, when it comes to scouting individually, I know who to go back and look at. Um, and I can kind of gear these guys up or down on my list. <clears throat> And once we get through next stream, I'll do the same thing. I'll go through this date here because that'll give us six weeks to scout before the draft. 
man, I wish instead of starting the draft right here after you play this game, I wish you would let us go in without being in the draft and look at the scouted players. So you can actually make a list before I go in and start putting them on the list. That's a quality of life thing that I wish it would let me do because I don't want to go to the draft. Because once you get in the draft, you can't stop. You got you to gotta draft. All right, we lost two to one. Ten hits for Gray, but his ERA is good. Yeah, it's not great at all. It's, it's terrible quality. I mean, NFL and Madden, you can stop. You can go through and put all your stuff together and then get into the draft. And even in the draft for Madden, you can pause the timer. So you can go look at trades. You can do whatever you need to. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> You can't even go to the bathroom in the MLB draft because it just goes. I mean, unless you just want to let it tick down until you get to your pick. But pause the draft. Let me stop. Let me come back later if I need to, right? All right. The Shy Sox. Hey, we win 12-7. to 7. Chris Flexen gets pounded. And Drohan, whoever that is. Well, our left-handed lineup seems to be a little bit better with those changes. No, that's a right-hand lineup. That's right-hand lineup. 16 hits. Goldschmidt, Walker, Wynn. Gibson pitched okay. Zach didn't. Giovanni didn't. Man. They're going to force me to fix this entire staff. And then we lose 14-3. to Seven RBI for Luis Robert. He didn't even hit a home run. Two doubles. He had seven RBI. <laughs> wow. We had nothing except Tommy Edmond at the bottom of the order. Matt's got lit up. Thompson and Middleton. Man. The Rule 5 guy, Ryan Fernandez, is like a 56 overall. And he's pitching better than these guys that are way higher rated. <clears throat> Let me go look at him. We're having to carry this guy. He's a 56 overall. He should be horrible. Luckily, he's only had five innings, but still. <laughs> Three home runs in 15 innings. This guy's a starting pitcher pitching out of the bullpen. I mean, I know, it's got a 44 stamina, but he was a starting pitcher in the minors. He's only pitching out of the bullpen because we don't have enough options. Kittredge, he's doing okay. Gallegos, five home runs in 12 innings. <sighs> JoJo's pitching well. Helsley. got 18 strikeouts in 10 innings. I don't understand. Hey, he's up to 13 RBI now. And he's regressing across the board. So we are not re-signing Goldschmidt. He's done. I might look to trade him at the deadline. <clears throat> And he doesn't have first base as a secondary, but I'll give it to him. Arenado's regressing, and we still have three more years at 32 and a half. Carpenter's going to get traded. He does have first base, but he's got a decent enough arm that I don't know. That 39 fielding at first base. We have another, no other option. Dylan Carlson's hitting 164. He only hits lefties. When Mr. Hurricane put him on his A's team, I'm like, you're only going to bat him against lefties. He sucks against righties. Yeah, our outfield's a mess. Um, all right, let's do this. You're on there.
Man, if I could add more, I would. <laughs> um, relievers we can take care of with free agency. All right, look at the league leaders real quick. Justin Turner, Michael Harris, Horner and Tavares. Yelich with 12 doubles. You Shohei. Darian Blanco. Giancarlo with 16 home runs. Jeez. Shohei with 11. Lindora with 11. Wisdom with 33 ribs. <laughs> Michael Harris, 755 slugging. He's got 10 home runs. Wow. Strider with seven wins. Kinsey and Kirby. Yeah, look, means. GRA is a bit high, but. <clears throat> Clay Holmes. Look at Matt Moore. Wow. Freaking Kershaw. 091 in 49 innings. Wow. Kyle Harrison, Hunter Green. Dakota Hudson in Colorado, really? Chris Paddock? Wow. 076. Hey, Lance Lynn, no home runs allowed. Dakota Hudson with two shutouts. He's got a 181 ERA in Colorado. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Heaney, that's a lot of strikeouts for Heaney. Not shocked by any of this. All right, so we're five and a half games out behind the Cubs. <laughs> the Brewers are in last place. Where's their Brewers fan that was talking about real life? In the Sim, it doesn't like him. We're only two games out of the wild card. As, as up and down as this season has been the start, we're only two games behind these guys. Who are the worst teams? So, Tigers, Royals, and White Sox. Nationals and Padres. Look at the Rockies. Wow. How are they doing so good? Brendan Rodgers hitting 351. That would help. Tovar with five home runs. Bryant with eight. <clears throat> Guys, go watch Fiend Franchise's uh, Rockies um, draft only. He trades Nolan Jones to the Padres along with Tovar. Watch his first game back in Colorado. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what happens, but just watch his first game. It's freaking ridiculous. Unbelievable. Yeah, their bullpen's terrible. Justin Lawrence is doing well. All right, let me save this. It's already 2 o'clock. We're going to wrap this up. I have other things I need to do the rest of the day. Where are we at? So next stream, which could be as early as tomorrow, 
because I'm going to hurry to get to the draft. I want to be able to get somebody into our organization right away. So, um, so we'll probably play the Mets and then likely play Angels so we can see Mike Trout. Show the third base I scout. Okay. And then um, either the Cubs or the Reds. Uh, yeah, I didn't change them, did I? So, yeah, see what I said? Those older guys, they look good, but look. They look good. They have that high potential. High potential, right? So it's a high floor. <clears throat> He's fully scouted and he looks garbage. I mean, we could take him with our pick, but he'll probably get taken by somebody else before then. There's a left fielder. So I wouldn't be disappointed taking him because um, he'd be MLB ready in a year. He just won't be able to field with the crowd. I could move him to first base. <laughs> Although he's 5'10". This guy's overall and his potential are too close together. Is this the guy? Yeah. I'm going to look at this guy. I don't think he's going to be worth a crap. Although this guy might be better at first base. But I don't want to take him with the seventh pick overall. 22 years old. If he comes in as a 69 at 22. And at best, a low B. A good hitter. See, these guys are all older, 20, 21, 22. So yeah, you can use them right away, but they're not gonna they're not gonna be anything special. Seventh overall pick. I don't trust this guy's gonna be worth anything either. That's a huge gap. Look at that. 44 to 78. He could be a 56 overall. This is the guy I want to scout just to see what he's like, but that's only three points off. So there's an 18 year old. At least he has some power. Let's scout him. I'm not going to take him that early, but I just want to look at him. I am pretty sure we're going to, once I start scouting, I probably should just push back and look at, yeah, let me change this. Let's do this. Let's get past and get into here and see if there's anything that we can consider drafting late. There's nothing. I got to discover. Like you said, we have to discover, guys, because there's nothing. He's only 10. Benedict. Vini I would take. The dude can rake. Where was that guy? Was he third base? No. There's Vini. Hey, Coach. Thank you, man. Appreciate you hanging out, man. Right field? Yeah, that's him. You already on him. So, it's just a, it really depends on how he scouts out. I mean, that's such a wide range from 32 to 66. It could be anywhere. 37 to 71. I do like his size, though. 6'4", 207. Looks like he's got decent feeling. He could have a strong arm. Kind of depends on how he goes. We know he's got good power. It's just he's going to make enough contact, right? Yeah, I'll leave him on the board. And we got to go one more week with the international. Let's look at the starting pitchers and see what was scouted. NR, he's full up. He's 32nd. So he's full. This guy, 
He's a uh, high floor. Dude's going to come in like 73 overall, but he might be only an 81 overall, right? <clears throat> All right, we discovered this guy. He's not bad. See how he rates out. Hits per nine is not good. Walks per nine. He's going to get beat up. None of these. They're all NRs. Yeah. All right. One more week. And uh, hopefully this guy has something that will give us something to look forward to. If not, we'll see. That, that Vina dude I would definitely take if the pitchers I want are gone. We'll just deal with his defense. All right, boys and girls, that's going to be it for the day. Almost four hours because it took me forever to get through the scouting, man. All right, I'm planning on doing this tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time. I might push it off until closer to noon. Um, and then I will likely not stream on Friday. Um I have to get some shit done around here because I have a long weekend of refing. So that means like, if it stopped raining, I can go cut the grass. Um, but uh, we'll finish up. We'll finish up uh, Louisiana Raging Cajuns as well. Um, we might throw some later night streams in too. So we might double dip. Kind of depends on how I'm feeling. So anyway, appreciate you guys. And hey, I don't have to turn off the sound for the game to do my uh, thanks for watching. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it goes, man. It's uh, appreciate you taking the time and come watch, man. I've watched enough of your videos and stuff that it's, uh, I appreciate you coming in and returning the favor, man. Um, you've taught me a lot, so I'm like, I'm like when people watch me recruit for NCAA, it's like man, he he's like the recruiter for NCAA over for MLB guys, so. You like how I recruit in football? Go watch him play baseball. So let's see who's out here. We don't have anybody I can raid to. Nobody I'm following. Only Daddy Dimu, and I'm not going to raid him. All right, if you guys have someone that you want me to go raid, throw it in chat right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to let you guys go, and you can go do whatever you want. But uh, thank you guys again. Appreciate you. Hopefully, I'll uh, hit better next time. But I don't see anybody else to raid out to. Let me let me double check. Is there anybody else, especially a small streamer that's out here doing MLB? Let's see who's out here. He's Diamond Dynasty. I don't want to do that. I want to do somebody that's doing franchise. There's mine. Anybody else? Nobody else, really? Everybody's doing Diamond Dynasty. Let me check this guy out real quick. He's got a Guardians franchise. Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right, I won't keep you guys longer. All right, flick of the wrist. If I can copy this, it doesn't want me to copy it. playing diamond dice we'll rate him all right i'm gonna get this ready to go and when you guys are ready we'll head on over there 
And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. So you guys take care, and I will talk to you later on. Thank you.